Imagine if cinematic lighting was as easy as going from this to this. What's up guys, my name is Alex Arfati and welcome or welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this really cool cinematic look that can be done with just a few simple steps. So let's stop talking about it and let's jump right in. Okay, welcome to my studio. Okay, so the first step to lighting any scene is making sure that you got your frame set up first. Once I establish my framing, then I go ahead and I add my key light. So right now you're facing the back of the studio and this is where I'm sitting down in the frame. Now I added my key light here and what I did was I added a Field World 225B and that's set to about 8% intensity with a 5600 Kelvin. And this big giant thing right here is a soft box. This is an aperture light dome. I just attach it to the light and what this does is it makes the light a lot softer. Now if I didn't have this on it, the light would be a lot more harsh and a lot more spotlighty. For this particular thing, you want that really nice soft roll off from your key light. On this light modifier, I'm using this honeycomb grid. And the reason why I'm using this honeycomb grid is because it focuses the light and not allowing it to spill all over the rest of the room. Now just showing you what the key light looks like. I set it to about a 45 degree angle, hitting me from the left side of my face. And my goal for the key light is to create a little bit of shadow right here and give a really nice soft light. Now that I had my framing and my key light set up, now my next focus was lighting up the background. All right, so lighting up the background was probably the most difficult task out of all of this. So I wanted a textured kind of look on the back wall. So what I did was I shot the light through a wooden diffuser with a bunch of holes in it. Basically what this does is it refracts the light into many little shapes, giving it texture on the wall. But as you guys can see, I'm not shooting this light directly through this wooden piece right here. What I'm doing is I'm bouncing light back into the diffuser because if I shot the light straight through the wooden diffuser, it wasn't giving enough texture. It was just basically feeling like it was just just a blue spotlight. But when I shot the light through a bounce and I bounced it back in, the light filled up a lot more of that wooden diffuser, causing a lot more texture on the back wall. And this is what it looks like. All right, so for the next light I'm gonna use is this Aperture B7C light bulb. And the reason why I'm using this light bulb is because I could dial in exactly the right intensity, the temperature, or any color that I want, really. Now I'm gonna screw this into the lampshade behind me, and now it's gonna be 100% controllable. And this is what it looks like turned on. Now, what's going on here is that I'm using contrasting colors with a cool blue, and I set the, the tone of this color to a little bit closer to a tungsten. And what this does is create a really cool color contrast and gives the image a little bit more visual depth than if I was to just make everything blue or everything tungsten. So for the last light that I'm going to add is this Aperture Infini Bar. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to motivate that lamp lighting to make it feel like it's hitting the back of my head and just lightly touching the right side of my face to act as a kicker light. And I absolutely love this thing because it's super easy to rig up because it has magnets. And if you guys can see right here, I have a C-stand with a Quasar Science tube on it. And all I have to do is boom, attach it right there and it's ready to go. And another really great thing about this, just like the B7C light bulb, is that I can control it right from my phone. So if I pull up Sidus Link right here, I can quickly turn it off and I can quickly turn it on. I can adjust the color. I can make it blue. I can make it green. I can, I can do whatever I want with it. But for this sake, I'm gonna try to match the color of the lampshade behind me so it feels like, again, that lamp light is hitting the right side of my face and the back of my head. Now, this is what it looks like with the Aperture Infini Bar turned on. Now, as you can see, it's giving a little bit of like a, an orange kicker light right here. And it feels like this light on my face right here that's acting as a kicker light is all motivated from that light back there. So just like that, a few simple steps and we got this cinematic lighting set up. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Deuces.